Holy shit, this is 22k watching. Hey, Aquarius, what's up, my dude? Well, I don't know what, what this is. I'm trying it out for the first time, but we'll see what happens. Hey, guys, welcome to the stream. Waiting to see what happens over here. I've tried to set it up, and it should be fine. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, you should hear, you should hear le Legend, so you should be hearing this. Are you guys excited? Are you guys excited? I sure as hell um, Sure as hell um. Just getting hype, yeah, me too. Holy shit. Oh yeah, this is a wider camera. This is my discussion camera. You can see more of Linksy. Uh, well, you can watch the video here. We'll get to chat a bit more. And if you guys want, you could come in the waiting room, have a chat there, and I'll bring people up one by one. Everyone's screaming Kislev, so... Um, let's scream Kislev as well. Let's see what's coming up. I'm really, really fucking excited. I know jack shit what's happening, of course. I'm like you guys, so this is, uh, this is me. Uh, bring me up. I'll bring you up as soon as it starts, then. As soon as it starts. I, I already, can, already can already see you. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? Uh, Kislev. It's all about Kislev, my dude. All about Kislev. And that's about it. Oh, man. This is... Uh, holy shit. <laughs> Kislev. It is really exciting. Normaster, so that... Holy shit. Like, it's it's all... It's all... All I'm gonna say if Grom watches this... Why is Grom streaming Rome 2 right now? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm just gonna lower this because this can do a little bit of ear blasting. Be back, Gabriel. Come on, run up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, the symbol. Really hyped about this, man. Really fucking hyped. We'll look at it together. We'll discuss it together. Then I need to go make a video about it. Upload the video. Oh my god, that's gonna suck. And then I have D&D at 7pm. 7.30. 7.30. So that's gonna... Uh, uh, times 2 speeds. You cannot turn the premiere to times 2 speed. Hey, Nicholas, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Oh. I'll be making it full screen so you guys can see it full screen. I'll be turning down my uh, camera as well. So we can see it properly. Yeah. So what are you guys looking forward to? What do you guys think is going to come? What are we going to see? I, I think we're going to see the Blood Tracer. I, I genuinely think we're going to see the Blood Tracer. I genuinely think we're going to see like the Siege Battle mechanic upgrades. Oh, there's Nicholas on the screen. I found you. There. Oh, wow. It went down to 60. Oh, yeah, because ads. Whenever you start a live stream or premiere, ads kick in. So, this was a 24,000 people. 6,000 people are currently watching an ad. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, for fuck's sake, they have another timer. Hello everyone, I'm Gareth Edmondson, Studio Director at Creative Assembly. Thank you for joining us. In just a few minutes time, the amazing teams working on Total War Warhammer 3 will share we want to see the game, buddy. exciting updates on the development. Before that, I would just like to take a moment to reflect on the past year at Creative Assembly. Now, I recognize that we've been fortunate and have continued to be successful despite the global pandemic. And I'd like to thank our incredible support and IT teams here at Creative true. Assembly. It was a monumental undertaking to move all our global operations to be fully remote March last year. Yet we did it and we got our teams up and running and working from home within a few days. 
In fact, during the last year, whilst working remotely, we've grown by 20%. Oh, popcorn. And recently announced the opening of a third oh, yeah, this is really cool. studio in the UK. There's, I the we saw some photos and it looks really like that. Look at that. That's we're really nice. We're the largest UK developer with 800 employees representing 46 nationalities based across Damn. the four studios in West Sussex, oh, UK la. and Bulgaria. We've adapted and continue to make games from home, and that's a testament to the talent, passion, and creativity of our fantastic teams. We also work to support both our local and global communities throughout this difficult time. For example, we gave away nearly 5 million copies of a Total War title to support the UK government's initial stay-at-home campaign. We gave £10,000 to our local food bank, £10,000 to our charity of the year, Click Sergeant. But it's not brownie points, Nic Nicholas. Cancer, they're just they're telling us what they do and making the themselves of human. Players, we've raised an additional £76,000 donation yeah, by the game. So. Let's exit for the screen. We're also continuing our efforts in our education work. People do care. Students <laughs> who do not have access to tech. Oh my god. Laptops. And also opening a new scholarship. I joked, it, I joked when I said, like, oh, we want to see the game. But this is fucking and insane. We to speak to thousands of students across the globe to support their career aspirations. As for the reason why you're here today, well, we announced Total War Warhammer 3, the last installment of the trilogy back in February. Holy shit. Hey, King, what's up, my dude? The trailer has been incredible, and we've loved seeing your reactions and comments. This month, we celebrate the five-year anniversary of the Total War Warhammer franchise. It's been an incredible journey, and for this, I'd like to thank our partners at Games Workshop and each and every person at CA who contributes so much to our creations, and also, of course, our fans. Thank you for believing in us, and thank you for your continued support. We can't wait to show you more of Warhammer 3, so stick around as we're about to start. Enjoy the show. Okay, all right, it's about to start. Two Okay, 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 okay. This is throwback to all of their cinematics. Holy fucking shit! That's a lot! And also, this shows how much they've thrown into the game. 2.1 billion turns. Sadness. The beast and the sadness. This was a good DLC though, the Grim and the Grave. Empire? Really? Well, that makes sense. Norse came in August. They're like, oh shit, snowy. But by, by far my favorite is the uh, Warhammer 2 trailer. It's just so good. Yeah, it's 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 normal. While we're waiting to start, we have one minute left. Drop a like, boys. Help the channel. Blood for the blood blood, of course. People have such a big thing against blood of the for the blood blood. But this trailer, this is what got me into the game. Two kings, man. Forty-eight billion gold. Most of it, Legend of Total War. And this DLC brought us Ikit Coin nukes. Hunter and the Beast was meh. I think Hunter and the Beast was very, very meh. Shadow and the Blade was alright. Warden and the Punch, boys. This was fucking amazing. Twisted in the Twilight. Holy fucking hell, man. This is a journey. Fucking awesome, man. Really fucking awesome. This is really fucking awesome. Come on, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm so excited Hello, about this. Hello, everyone, and thank you for Hello, joining Frankie. Us for the first Total War Warhammer 3 Showcase event. I'm your host, Frankie Ward, and I'm here to give you an exclusive first look at what That's why it's my favorite, Nicholas. for the cataclysmic conclusion to the Total War Warhammer series. 
Today we'll be kicking things off with some brand new content before diving into an exclusive Dude, I want to see how many people are watching this right now live. Trailer and game time. 82, we'll live. from the developers working on the game to learn more about the chaos you can expect. Kislev, <laughs> it's Kislev. So, without further delay, let's get started with a glimpse into the vision for Warhammer 3 from game director Ian Roxburgh. This game is Total War Warhammer 3 is the grand to make CA a triple A uh, company. The success of the first few games has actually enabled us to be far more ambitious now and can, expand the scale like, of warfare like it, never it's, before. It's insane the quality improvements. When we improvements. first embarked on this epic journey way back in 2012, we just looked at this incredibly rich and diverse I understand, buddy. Of content Give us the gameplay. That the Warhammer Fantasy Universe has in it and really wanted to make a game that contained everything. But it was very apparent early on that there's no way we could put there all is that no stuff chill, in no. and do all of it in <laughs> there is absolute no both chill, in terms like. of a Total War game and in terms of the incredible IP just in one game. So we decided we'd need to do a trilogy, three massive games in their own right, but then it's fans left. who have played all those games and enjoyed them will get the opportunity to play one Holy giant game shit. At Look at this that combines chat, man. all the content from all these three games Look at this in chat. this massive, massive world. It's the game we want to play as developers, and it's the game we knew our fans would ultimately want to play. Warhammer Fantasy Battle Universe is such an incredibly rich and diverse world full of incredible monsters and, and giants and characters and environments and stories hey, Nacro, what's up, my dude? you name it, it's in there and it just provides such a brilliant tapestry to design a total war game on. We can do things that we'd never ever be able to do in any other kind of environment and it's been such a pleasure to work with this IP and to bring new experiences to our players that they would never have seen before in a total war game. So now that you know what the vision is, I think it's time to jump into our first exclusive segment. Here is the first in-engine cinematic trailer. Enjoy! Okay, we're... Oh wait, this is what we sh they showed us yesterday. This was what meant to be launched today as well. So, this is really important. This is an in-game engine. So everything we see here is actually in the game. So this is probably one of the hero characters, which is going to be with a bear, which is really fucking awesome. And the, the corruption that this guy, whoever he is, starts having. So he starts with Orson on his chest. He turns into Chaos Undivided. And he's burning Orson's temple. So there's so much happening. I did um, get uh, a little bit of education from Nathan about this. Hey guys, we're at 20 viewers, man! We're 20 fucking viewers! Hi! Like, this is Chaos Undivided Armor. And then there's corn uh, troops behind him. So it means the leader of Chaos will be in Chaos Undivided. So I cannot stay here. Necro is great. No one cares. Let's see. So these... Like, this guy's wearing... Look at that. That's Chaos Undivided and these are Cornates. Hey, Lero, what's up, my dude? <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. No. And this is really old lore. This is from apparently the, the first three or four like uh, editions. So it's gonna be really cool because they're reviving old things and they're probably creating new things. And a lot of the armor, a lot of the troops of Kislev are new. So it's Cool shit. The Hussars are amazing, the uh, Bear Lancers are going to be fantastic. From, from fantastic fire, looking, hopefully they're really good to play with. But monstrous units are generally really good anyway in this game. And especially if you have healing or supporting magic. I did, I did, Florian. I did listen to a bit of what he said. And that is the best spell possible, man. Look how awesome it is. Randy, thanks for the sub, my dude. Thanks for joining the channel. And this is another thing, like the, the corruption of chaos. Before it was just like a few spikes and a little. Bit. This is the, what the corruption of chaos is going to look like now. Like, look at that. The realm of chaos is merging into the real world. Come on. <laughs> What's not to love? 
That, that has yes, thanks. <laughs> Giant elemental bears, bloodthirsty demons, and one cold-blooded ice witch that you wouldn't want to mess with. And now, for the moment you've been patiently waiting for, the world premiere of Total War Warhammer 3 gameplay. It's time to unshake your from the and get ready to invade the realm of corn in the all-new survival battle mode. Let's jump into the action. Okay, this 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 is what I've been really excited about. This footage is captured. Yeah, that's fair enough. Here it is, the first look at Total War Warhammer 3 gameplay. Today we'll be testing our metal in an epic new game mode. Holy survival Wait, wait, wait. Look at those units, man. Into the heart of enemy territory. They're to melee. Play, we'll They're going to be perfect on the tips of my on archers. Barricades, projectile towers, traps, reinforcements and buffs. No shit. In this particular survival battle, we're taking the fight to corn, seizing three victory points as we progress through the ruined fort with the brass city. Show us the stats of the troops. But our invasion into corn's domain will be hard. Fought. Oh my god, we'll looks be repelling so cool. three waves of lesser demons before going toe to toe with an exalted bloodthirster. As the battle begins, we find ourselves immediately set upon. Some quick flanking and a blast of Catherine's ice magic sets us up for a oh swift man, initial Oh man, that is win. really nice. I like the Winds of Magic icon, uh, the new one. At first I was like, now what? But it looks really clear, nice. We can Look at this map. Victory point and start our defensive preparations. We'll use our structures, which have been built from salvage found in Korn's realm, to our tactical this advantage. This looks fu They'll Look at this! Building barricades! Zones, so we can take control of and maintain the battle's flow. Building traps, towers, We'll Holy place barricades on either side of the victory point and block off all easy routes up the main ramps. This will funnel the bulk of the demons towards the side ramps, where our Tsar guard oh, will man. hold the line. Meanwhile, our towers, Kossars, and Katarin will tear them apart. And with tra oh wow! Here they come. That's really exciting, man. Yeah, the leak seems to have been legit. The leak seems to have been. This is amazing. Do you know what this means for siege battles now? Do you know the potential for siege battles? Catherine uses her lore of ice to quickly slide Guys, I'll soon start to take people in the chat after the first few relevations and we'll go over the context together. So if you want to join Discord and join the waiting room, I'll bring you up guys up after this. But look at that! Against such insurmountable odds, our warriors are sure that the although that magic losses, needs a little bit of polish. Army fighting fit with the replenishments menu. Are you fucking serious? So they they added like sort of formations. Likewise, we can dramatically improve a unit's performance with the upgrades menu, where we'll buff weapons. Oh, this armor, is amazing! Essential items. This is a survival mode. But that won't be enough to take us to the Brass Citadel. We'll need to call fresh troops into the slaughter with the recruitment menu. Our defense is holding thanks to the Look at those gunners. But the demons keep coming. The it's an axe and a gun! The first victory point, and we need to press onwards. With the bulk of the enemy in one convenient narrow corridor, a decisive charge from our winged lancers should put a swift end to their assault. Holy shit, this looks so cool. <laughs> Corn is dead. We must press on into the blood pits and seize the icon of blood. Can you hear that? That is good voice acting. That's what it is. the first wave and can press our invasion deeper into enemy territory. I I don't like that. I don't like that. I th that that needs to be the be changed the a bit. Begin shortly. We've only a brief respite before the demonic hordes come anew and haven't much time to arrange our units and structures. Her animation. Holy we shit, progress. look at that. We'll expand our pool of available troops. Holy, the bears are awesome. Challenge of an ever -growing threat. And look at these. Okay, that, that guard I knew was going to be one of my favorites. With healing and buffing abilities, and a bare mount to briskly carry him between units in need, the Patriarch is a strong addition to our forces. This hero looks really cool. 
Many a Chaos Slave has fallen to Little Grom's ancient and roaring fusillades. Fighting alongside it stokes pride into the hearts of all Those archers look really fucking and cool. Rightfully so. And there seems... Right now, look, I really like the new icons as well, like the new stat bars. Is making steady work of the so clean. Our western wall. And look at those bears. Oh, cute and fuzzy. Like Simba. Battle Royale mode would be fun. They've made a really good job on Age of the Empires for Battle Royale mode, Nick. But where are really, Western really, really good. prevailing? Our eastern flanks are in danger of being overrun. A second artillery unit should help even the odds. This is really amazing. Genuinely Although speaking. Although advancing's our primary focus, we'll leave a rear guard to protect the bulk of our army. Losing a victory point and getting flanked now could spell disaster. This is insane. One final push to the boiling moat. We must seize the icon of torment and tempt Korn's gatekeeper from his lair. This is insane. Here we make our final push. Tired and bloodied from our march into chaos, we face two waves of demons, bolstered with heroes, cavalry, artillery, and the gatekeeper himself. Now Wait, that's the blood there, sir. The full force of Urson's wrath down upon our foes and do our best to survive. But to endure the coming oh, storm, look at this. we'll need Kislev's fiercest defender. What's it called? That is so Despite awesome. Despite Korn's overwhelming numbers, we're standing strong. Kislev's superior ranged capabilities mixed with the staunch bulwark of the Dark Guard and the capacity to restore our troops from the replenishment menu and the Patriarch's abilities means we're deeply entrenched. With that in mind... That, that cannon is so awesome. Aggressive. Korn's cannon. With so many demons packed together tightly, Katarin's Frostfang ability and her... Oh, other I'm sorry, I'm speechless. I'm rules. genuinely speechless. And Look at the cavalry for the chaos! And the bear cap! Holy shit! And other cavalry to wreak havoc it's amazing! At the elemental bears ranged yeah, it's very similar to Hellcannon's uh, king. Rain of fire from our little Arty bear, man. Soon find ourselves prevailing against the third wave. Prepare for the fight of your life! And there it is. He is the gatekeeper. An exalted bloodthirster, this greater demon of corn is war, brutality, and murder incarnate. No mortal man could hope to stand against one and survive. But I am impressed by this. And I also like the fact that the graphics are careful, simplified, but Korn's still did not lose any of the detail. Devastate and rout our infantry, sowing discord and creating holes in our wall. Holy shit, that is so cool. Bear whilst peppering him with ranged attacks and spearing him with our anti This is really fucking like awesome, man. Guard. The quicker we tank the gatekeeper down, the sooner we claim victory. This is really fucking awesome. The combined might the bear is of fucking magic, insane. the elemental bear's ferocity, and the continuous assault of our army is too much for even Korn's I, greatest I, of That's why I said Troy was so important. This is here but because Korn of the experiments in Troy. There's a lot from Troy, Troy in this. The battle is won. But the war goes on. That is fucking awesome. That's the only thing I can say. There, of course, there are things which look a little bit weird. For example, the Katrina's yeah, ice magic, so uh, animations, whatever. Well, yes, but wild. the units so look really cool. The unit combat really animations good. look fantastic. Uh, well, the interactions between um, individual yeah, units. Uh, well, I'm going to mute, not mute them, the, put them at half side. The animations of the bear and the blood are just the fucking amazing. Being able to build towers, being able to build and reinforce your troops. The cavalry so fucking cool and okay we don't know if it's going to be effective or not on legendary but let's face it on legendary the meta will be completely different and that's normal and that's fine but holy hell holy hell so much good stuff i am so happy i am so i'm really fucking happy right now i'm gonna cry no i'm not gonna cry <laughs> oh. Look at each of them in they they depth. should They're give so us the release date. Rich and diverse in terms of their content. I'm seeing it's coming uh, out in August. The Chaos Realms themselves are crazy August or September, man. Incredible environments, and it's really given us a chance to. Because this game looks almost finished. And gameplay and, and it needs touch-ups. Katrina needs a little bit of love.
opening up the chaos realms has but kind of literally we're there. given us brand new dimensions to be able to explore in terms of gameplay and features. My brain is like buzzing. Because like, this, sorry, now think about it, translate what we saw in the survival mission well, first of all, to sieges. Want, um, the, the, the stages, the levels, multiplayer battles, man. They're going to be so fucking awesome. Reinforcing your army, collecting points, fighting, holding capture points. It's going to be insane. This can be adaptable. This can be adapted into multiplayer. And if it is adapted in multiplayer, it's going to be mental. Imagine a team of three versus three fighting for like two hours, trying to win a battle and just reinforcing their troops, rebuilding defenses, setting up defensive, trying to capture points. Simba, you have been summoned. But at the same time, bringing loads of innovative and interesting new features. What do you think about this? Challenged, um, is it cool? Surprising people. Yeah. Things that you like may, it? Maybe not have expected. Simba proves. But ultimately, the whole one to one that nothing is going to be uh, uh, in campaign sieges. From the start. We really want people no, to Nicholas, in, no, no, it, it will go, be. Okay, let's get Dylan the in the voice because he has been waiting for a while. I Dylan, what do you think, my dude? Finally. Is there but anything you'd like to say sick. to the fans watching? Like, I, I was, like to I was just watching it. Incredible support it's, and devotion over the last it, it's crazy. Uh, few years with Warhammer 1 and 2. It's Simba wants more catnip than uh, an endorsement. Uh, uh, he he got he got his catnip today. To, to make games you sound really sleepy, dude. What's the time over there? And then when you hear fans... Uh, saying how many hundreds of hours they've enjoyed uh, the Sharkman, what's up, dude? Well, that won't be in the campaign, though. It looks like they're trying to add mob elements to Total War. I think it will be in the campaign, Sharkman. I want another Warhammer. Or is it, like, number four? Hey, Mad Size, what's up, my dude? How are you doing? Ian, thank you for joining me today. And Oh, man. Simba, Simba wants to go back to Nap. Thank you very much. Before we wrap things up, Let's get some insights from the development teams. Oh, this is really awesome. This is really fucking I can fucking just see them doing a lot with all this. Yep, abs absolutely. It absolutely. can go many different directions, but I like a lot of them. In Total War Warhammer 3, we'll be venturing... This could be multiplayer. This could make so much new things. In Warhammer 1, we will I don't think it's it's MOBA. I don't... This is not... I've played MOBA for thousands and thousands of hours. This is not MOBA. We'll be venturing to Definitely yes. not mobile. To the very top and west hey, Casper, what's up, my dude? Who have been the bulwark of humanity. Try that and it killed the series. Yeah, I don't know where to kill the series, but I, from the interest in this and the, the way it, it looks, it's being done very well. They're taking the tools which are already there the and adapting them and realms, adding to them. It looks, at least that mission looks really good. So if campaign missions are like that compared to what we had previously, I'm very happy. Yeah, like the story-based campaign mission? Yeah. Slanesh, the Lord yeah. of Excess. Zinch, the Changer. Honestly, I kind of hope there's a lot more the story. Blood, as well. and rage. That I mean, there has been a lot of story already. Like yeah. Of course, we need to remind, remember that the the story will be in the first campaign that they're releasing, then the Mortal Empires, which is going to be four times the size of our yeah. current Mortal Empires, is going to be the same. Finally, my savings will be useful if I can afford it. Though. I'm sure you'll be able to afford it later. I've been saving all year to get it. So. I mean, you're working now, so it should be good. Yeah. should be good. This this is pretty, pretty amazing. Has been to really mirror yeah, that's the a lot. Asymmetry Let's that take in the tabletop game that Games Workshop have created. Someone just asked for feet fixing. As players work out what? what are the strengths and weaknesses of all the races and how to use those in their favor, we've really looked to push the variety in this game. Why is uh, people are spamming nip on? That's interesting. Actually, this is the chat races, should be uh, and the content of each of those races, the roster 16 sour pusses spells. Kislev have a quite conventional style with four times the map size, but that's not that side. Look at these. Oh man. Hybrid infantry, so not the thing is, do you think that we're going to get more gameplay for different factions before the release? Well, which allow them to thin the enemy as yeah, we will. We will. I, I, this is the first one, so they've been focusing yeah. on Kislev versus Korn. I have a feeling they're going to show Slanesh versus uh, Kate soon. Or at Zinj versus Kate. So that's going to be really interesting. If Troy is any indication of her retreat, she should run on her potato. Yes, that should help. Okay, we got the notification. What did we get? So I need bigger uh, screens. Gar, thank you so very much. 35, uh, you, oh. 
Dollars. Thanks a lot, my dude. Thanks for the donation, man. They don't have magic really appreciate it, buddy. What is happening in the chat? The idea behind them is that to get on the front foot, to approach yeah, the enemy, yeah, it's, it's crazy. This chat is crazy. It's forty-four thousand people watching it right now. CA, give me a host, please. <laughs> <laughs> Forty Chilean pesos with shine collecting. Lots if of TA food. gave you a host, what would you do? I would cry. I would cry. I would just cry. Because <laughs> let's say ten percent of them subscribe. That's four thousand subs, and my channel gets the six k. Now six k is just it's much easier to grow. It's it's getting to five k. That's the uh, five slash ten k. It's the uh, point where your channel starts growing very fast. Yeah, uh, I think it like for, uh, from what I can see, it's running very smoothly, and they've done a lot of graphical decisions to make it as smooth as possible by remove, reducing particle effect. And looking, all I know is I need yeah. All I know is I need to buy a new SSD because I want this thing to run like fast. So you need uh, an M dot uh, M dot E. Uh, Probably an M dot two. Yeah, yeah, M dot two. Yeah, the uh, the M dot two is going to be important because of the load times, because of the size, the sheer size of it. But yeah. Yeah. And I'm really happy it's about like I'm this. I'm already running out of space. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you just bought one recently as well. Yeah, it was a 240 gig. Yeah, yeah, it's, it happened. I got it for Christmas. Show me survival mode. People want to see campaign changes. There's no campaign changes today, Nicholas. This is what we're getting today. This is what they promised. This is what we're getting today. Or should it be much more of a physical entity? That's all we need. Is it something all we're that getting. 45,000. Or is it something that is generated by the army or via a spell? The models so also look nice sick. Where for like, the, just the different the units. The unit kind of comes together out of a pile of snow and trees <laughs> it does. and rocks from the ground. And it turns into this Especially massive that entity, bear. basically. Which is just capable of crushing vast swaths of units. And I think both us and I'm really excited to see what they do with Cathay approach, now. Especially once we handed it to the animation team. Well, I mean, they could do a large number of things, but... Like There's so many yeah, directions. Yeah, Cate doesn't go. have that much of lore air written down, so they can create. And same with Nippon, same with In. Size. And if people show interest, which seems that there is interest, 45,000 people watching a live stream on a channel, which is doesn't live stream often, that's really good. They pre-order cancelled? Wait, they cancelled pre-orders? No, they didn't. And it really emphasizes the scale difference between the races and the factions that were going for this time around. Wait, did I miss something? Did they say pre-order cancelled, King? From an artistic point of view, we really want players to take away how big and bold we really taken the franchise with this oh trolls game. and chat yeah, it's really just trolls and chat people they're just wanting to hate on something uh, nicholas they probably use the cat really animations bears and from the like, gameplay point of view we really want to show that we've been taking and like felines and mammals have a very similar movement on all four legs really polished it so refined it whilst also introducing some nice little all right in there florian really here it is full I'm screen i'm curious if there's any more information they're going to give us I don't think there is. I think that was the bulk of it, the hype led up to it. Okay, boys. You don't even think the release date? Or do you think it uh, I'm not sure we'll get the release date now. That's it from this Total War Warhammer 3 event. I don't think the base game, uh, sorry, the DLC will be in the base game about. clear. To keep up to date with all of the developments for the game or to rewatch any of the footage from tonight, make sure to keep an eye on the Total War social media channel. So how have you been, Linksy? A final reminder that I've been good. I've been good. I'm keeping Simba in because I know people now. Uh, once the reveal has been soon. done, they're only Things here for Simba. Are just getting started, and we can't wait yeah. to share more with you very yeah. soon. From the Sounds about team right. And I, we really hope you enjoyed this. This was pretty awesome. This was really, really awesome. I mean, yeah, we do want a. Okay, they're releasing on Steam and Epic Store at the same time. That's good. They're not going to show campaign. No one said it's going to show campaign. Hey, Cal, it's what's up, my dude? Okay, so now let's rewatch the battle. As we find ourselves in battle mode, survival battles drop us. Wait, is this? This isn't full HD. Yeah, it is. Wait. They didn't do it in 2K. That's why it's a bit ripped on my screen. To prevail, we'll need to deploy our defenses by... 
Bloodthirst, uh, blood letters look really good. You're a lady. Cal is a lady. Cal, come on VC, my dude. In this particular survival battle, we're taking the I'm gonna to stay here and add input if needed. Um, Alright. <laughs> but uh, I'm playing Valhalla. So. Alright. I might put you out of the chat. Because <laughs> it's one person. I mean, I'm gonna talk still. Just, uh, no, no, it's like a, one person only, so there's not too much. Uh, that's that's why. Um, no, Zinj, I feel, uh, uh, said Bob, God, this death looks like an incredible round army. Yeah, it, like, it looks really weak on the front lines, but then it has, like, incredibly versatile units. Like, the uh, X gunners look fantastic. That is something that is amazing, because it shows the functionality and the guerrilla warf warfare and then the cavalry coming in. This looks like a better empire, because it is the better empire. But, no. Control. So you can build four different types of things. You can build traps. You can build walls. We'll place barricades. Wait. wait. Control of. Okay, uh, let's see what you if read the text. Here I'll leave so you can add more people. See we ya. See ya, dude. Hey, Moloch, what's up? Just want to see another god, just any other god. We will see... <laughs> hey, Matt, what's up? Not interested in a tower defense. It doesn't look like a tower defense game, Matt. It doesn't look like a tower defense game. People are saying it's a tower defense game. I don't think it is. They said they have rock solid infantry. To be honest, those Tsar guard able to hold against corn boys. That's impressive. Yeah, but think of all the firepower that was being thrown in. Okay, so this is interesting. We have the barricade blocker. We have... Uh, Simba, get away from there. I know you're hungry. You'll eat soon. You'll eat soon, friend. Uh, you have to work for it. Missile resistance, 15%. So building a barricade that gives missile resistance. Nah. Okay, Simba. Simba's like, nope, I need attention. There you go. Uh, so this is really cool. The goddamn loons in hell. Uh, they did it. Play on normal will we'll rain spam the enemy as usual. <laughs> Absolutely, Moloch. <laughs> and this is what I'm happy about. They have some really good looking um, missiles as well. The side of the victory point and block off all easy routes up the main so that's the same. This will funnel the Dimba. demons towards the side. Dimba. Of where are the <laughs> Quiet boy. The line. Meanwhile, the bulk of the demons towards the okay. So there are different types of towers. Oh come on, they hit that one. Want to see what the tower stats is? I want unit stats. Which I'm assuming is going to be given to us by the uh, creators uh, in 25 minutes. But hot damn. Archer spam, man. Catherine uses her lore of ice to I don't think it's what Chaos needs, it's more range stuff. Yeah, but Corn doesn't use ranged. <laughs> that's that's it, Corn doesn't use ranged. Corn just fight. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Like, let's look at that animation again. I, I am not happy with this animation. I'm not. There will be. There's no cheese right now in the game, as right now the game it's my, my cat was woken up from his nap, so he's very. He's like a kid. Go to nap again. Okay, thank you. He's like a kid and he want attention. But uh, the, any cheese that looks now, it's yeah, it looks a bit janky. But keep in mind, this is full, they're still in development. They still have another five months in development, uh, at least four months or three. No wait. If it's, yeah, at least three months, because they said autumn, right? The ice carpeting is terrible, but hopefully it'll improve it and beat that much. Also, feedback that we'll get, that'll get from people and will help it a lot. Simba, sit. Yeah, it, it doesn't look that great. But these spells look fantastic. I need to get him a snack. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, got a snack for Simba, not for myself. It looks horrible, Lira. It's a launch September. 
Are you sure it's in September, Moloch? Did they say it anywhere? Because I missed that. A devastating this looks really cool. Frost fang ability and heart of winter spell. Look, look, look at me. Look, look at what I'm reduced to. Against such if anyone wants to come on VC with me, just wait in the waiting room on my Discord. Thankfully, we can keep out okay, so this. Argument of the wins. 200% power charge, 10 seconds. Uh, target spellcaster. This is really interesting. And there are formations sort of things down here. It needs more textures, yeah. The ability to manipulate wind. Okay, this is really cool. Seems replenishment, vigor, and cooldown reduction. Total one launches in September. The, the problem about September, uh, Moloch, is that in August, they're going to relaunch uh, Troy. So that actually September would make sense. And I have no protein. I have protein if you want. <laughs> so Beastman when? I think Beastman is uh, next month. With the Nicholas. Menu. Yeah, vigor reduction. And replenishes amount of hit points to combatants. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. Likewise. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that ability. So her special spell, uh, like Ice Explosion, is an actual ability, not a spell. Hey, Joel. Who the fuck still plays Troy? Uh, quite a few people, actually. Quite a lot of people. Beastmen will be improved. If they don't, there will be riots in the street. So this is interesting. This is straight out from Troy. This uh, These upgrades. This was sort of in Troy with the uh, Amazons. Um, now they've put it inside the game mode as well. Yeah, down. That is really insane. Armor piercing 30%. Missile base damage 30%. Woo! Play Beastman as Bretonia is his total one. Never play faction. Wait, he never plays Bretonia? I saw this. Hey, Julius, what's up, my dude? The far left are not formations, but reinforcements. Hey, Jakub, welcome to the stream, buddy. Lots of new people. Probably people like filtering off from uh, <laughs> from um, CA stream. Did they change the UI? I think they changed the UI as well. Was there ever a cat reveal? Of course, there was a cat reveal, Flulas. Never fuck with Tony. Okay. We'll need to call fresh troops into the slaughter with the recruitment menu. Okay, it, it is recruitment. The gun Greatex infantry. The only melee infantry I'll have, because they'll have a shotgun Our attached to their axe. Thanks to our Streltsy reinforcements, but the look at those animations. Look at okay, look at this guy. Look at this guy, right? Our look over here. Look at that gun, right? And over here, there's just... <laughs> and then just... <laughs> over the head. Demons keep coming. Our goal lies beyond the first victory point and we need I am to very impressed with the, like, the enemy and unit diversity of Kislev. Corridor, and also with the Chaos Troops as well. Chaos Troops are beautifully assault. well done. Korn's Troops. They didn't give all the skulls to the Skull God, though. And skull throw, sorry. Cut. We've survived the first wave. And can of course, I'm, I'm have a cat in my hands all the time. Okay, all right, it's, it's, it's in your way. Remove it. The defense of the second point begins shortly. We've only. All right, now I want to see what these things do. The defense of the second point begins. Shortly. Hey, Minochrome. The defense of the second point begins. <laughs> Five ninety nine. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh. The defense of the second point begins. Okay, so you can get a monument. Catherine's expedition. The buff defenders moving and fighting within its range. 
health 20, 2500, melee attack plus 15% and leadership up. That is really good. 32 uh, meters. No, this the same setup, Minichrom. Trash game I rate minus 10 out of 10. Graphics of mobile games. What? <laughs> Benji, are you serious? It looks so fucking awesome. Okay, trap. It reduces speed and melee attack. Okay, so melee infantry might be actually useful. <laughs> this might actually be useful. Interesting. Oh, the camera has moved. Yeah, it, it's moved like two months ago. No. It's been a while. And Simba's biting the camera. Never gonna happen. I'm just saying, it looks really fucking cool. Proof for release, but yeah, I... Only a brief respite before the demonic... So that's a platform. Increases range by 20%. Oh, okay, so we have walls, which increase missile resistance. We have platforms, we have traps, and we have monuments. Cool, and we know what they do, which are decent buffs. These are really strong buffs. Chords come anew and haven't much time to arrange our units and structures. As Look at this baby. Fifteen percent is not tiny, Nicholas. Fifteen percent is not tiny. Pro diplomas on the wall. I have um, my bachelor's, my diploma. So I have my B, B A, B A in, in European studies, my uh, higher diploma in science, and I have also my masters. People beg for deployables and more depth sieges, and they add it. Everyone cries. Dominic, I know, I know. What the hell? What the hell? It's like they gave us what we wanted, and it looks fucking awesome. And it looks really good. And some people are like... <laughs> <laughs> That's the reaction of some people. <laughs> oh my god. And then you have the other people going... Ah, it, 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 it looks okay. I'm just saying though. I'm just saying. Seriously. Legend stream is that bad right now? No. Oh god. People are still going crazy. Wow, this chat is this this chat was infected by Zinch. This fat chat was infected by Zinch. Okay, let's see how okay. Legend <laughs> Okay, Legend is is doing very well. Very well. I'm really glad he got some numbers up. Okay, Legend, don't uh, copy strike me. I just wanted to see how your chat is doing. Thank you very much. Love you much, Legend. Thank you. <laughs> okay, it, it's He's also posting a video, I think, but I, of course, won't look at his stuff, because that is copyright. He's lamb! Hey, Bearded Toast! The, the Patriarch looks amazing. The bear with antlers, the armor, the shields, like, just looks amazing. Like, I was scared of how the bears would look, and this is amazing. Yeah, people just, just want to complain. I will remind people, if you want to jump into my chat with me, come in the waiting room and you can just come and complain. More like you're welcome to come. I don't think we've ever been on a live stream together, so it'll be nice. Get in the waiting room and I'll drag you up. The units to meet the challenge of an ever this this is like looks like it could be the new Sisters of Avalon. And if it is, what are they called? Doesn't say. Like, they look fucking insane. Let Linksy and Legend fanfic when? Oh, oh, stop, Legend! Oh no, what are you doing? Stop, Legend! Seven p.m. CET embargo drop. Yeah, in tw fourteen minutes there is going to be the embargo drop, uh, for the content creator. So that's going to be really interesting. The Ice Guard. Yeah, I'm really excited about these. Oh, Legend Senpai, no! All right, now it, it's let, let, let's let's not let's not go down the, down down that road <laughs> at all. 
Benji, the bear looks fucking amazing. What are you on about? There's another embargo drop, yeah. I'm streaming till the end of the hour and then that's it. Then I'll try to make a video or something from all of this. Well, technically this is the video, right, that I made. Which is doing relatively well, considering. Like, I, I, I just literally, four minutes too, I was like, Ah, oh, should I stream this? Oh, yeah. Stop stealing my general, please. I really like this, look. The health, the stamina, and the ammunitions bar, it is so clean. So clean. If you see the camera moving, it's because I have a beast. A beast of corn that is angry he was not included in the trailer. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Come here, Simba. Come here. Ah! I'm gonna I'm gonna get the gameplay footage downloaded. And I'm going to replace the blood thirster with Simba's, like, Simba's body. Oosh. The unique cards are amazing. What you want about? I love the aesthetic. It's cold, it's dreary, but it's so clean. And I, like, look, look at the unit cards, right? There is, so these are gold, these are silver. These are bronze, you know exactly what stats they have. It's very easy to see what unit is doing what. Guard mode is clearly depicted um, over here. You can see who, which unit is shooting, which unit is moving, which unit has good morale, which unit is not doing so well, which unit cannot shoot. It is so clean. It is amazing. Now, again, looking at the minimap, it also looks pretty damn awesome. The one thing I don't like is this little bar up here. But that could be mission specific because it looks very coordinate. Not better than the ones from the last DLC. Exactly, exactly. Beast of corn screen like. Hey, Pabritz, what's up, dude? <laughs> the gatekeeper fell. Yes, the gatekeeper is a lie. Right no, now, but it, it it's. So. With help from the this is what I want to talk about. Look at the distinction between this and this. The graphics are very different, and that makes it much easier. They've chose... Uh, they're different, though, uh, Nicholas. I, I know they, that they are all there, but they're much different. Simba would have destroyed... Simba has destroyed Kislev. Look at him. Look at the bastard. Look at the bastard. He is the true beast of corn. He is exerting his revenge. Holy shit, you're actually making me bleed, buddy. Can you chill down? Can, can you relax? No? All right. Uh. Oh, because of my camera. Wait, you should be able to see it. Oh, yeah, you should be able to see it. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put the camera up here. Well, it, it's... The, the cannons are fantastic. A literal blood test. Yes! I let him out again today, and he came back, so I'm quite happy with him. Come in here, big. Yeah, but I've stopped caring about units I command. Ho ho ho! Nicholas is becoming too escaping. Kislevites, and rightfully so, right now. The, I want to... I want to see what magic she has Little in detail. Grog, with help from the Ice Guard and other... So it is the Ice Guard. Look how cool that is. Making steady work of the demons assaulting our oh my lord, I love this kid it's so much. And th the cavalry for corn is pretty awesome. I am all these. I am all these. Yeah, well. Just fall on. No, you are Skaven. Okay, okay, we can see her spells. We can see her spells. Is it me or is that 68 Twins of Magic? Death Frost. It shows the damage numbers. Oh, finally. This is amazing. This is what I need for cheese. When I see these numbers, I can pull out my calculator, type in the numbers, and go, 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 go. Okay, this is cool. 
This is very cool. 27 duration, 26 seconds cooldown. You can cast it basically every minute. Uh, Toss I was from Cyprus. No, no, I'm not from Cyprus. But Cyprus is pretty amazing. Characters in Rachel the Legend said they look better than the back. Oh my god, Denji. The ice textures need the ice textures need a lot of improvement, yes. That spell is awesome. But where are Western defenses prevailing? And the Akrasuma is right. Are in danger of being overrun. A second artillery unit should help even the odds. Although advancing is our primary focus, I currently have Cesar telling me it's not fair that they re release the uh, <laughs> courage for our friends who are doing exams right now. Courage for our friends out there. You see what I did there? One final push the in seven minutes, they will launch. The Remember, this is a work in progress, so stop bitching. Yep. It, it is as well. We it's a working process. And push. look, look, this is going to be working process even after they launch. They've made it clear there's a lot of DLC plan. And frankly speaking, if we've seen anything with Warhammer 2, if we've seen, and goddamn, we need to give them some respect for this. Warhammer 2 CA have listened to us. They have listened to what we wanted, they listened to what we'd, we'd like, and they've implemented it. So, we'll see. Nick, you don't need to, de to delete that. But yeah, kind of, Benji, tone it down. Get it! <laughs> Was that loud enough? <laughs> I'm watching during class. Tired What's the class you have? From our march into chaos, we face two waves of demons. Oh my god, I, I yelled Kenny so good. And the himself. Nicholas has a point, uh, Benji. Try to tone it down or else you're, you'll get timed out. Because they will listen. Like, any, like, literally, if you guys tell me, listen. Uh, we would like to give this feedback to CA. Write me a, a fucking Word document. Put actual constructive feedback on how you would feel something needs to change, why you feel it needs to change. Give it to me. If I agree with it, I'll hand it over to them. In an honest Chinese class? Ooh, it's interesting. We'll need Kislev's yeah, I mean, the, the biggest credit I give them is for listening to what... We, for example, they fucked up on the launch of Twisted and Twilight with the launch of the uh, Sisters mechanic. The last patch. Woo! 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 Amazing! And that's what it should be. By Korn's overwhelming numbers, we're standing strong. Kislev's superior ranged capabilities mixed with... It's the not a mo the Benji, stop the saying it's a mobile version. It's not. This will not run on your fucking mobile. Means we're deeply entrenched. With that in mind, we can stand to be Deep. a bit more aggressive. <laughs> okay, let's give some love to Korn over there. With so many demons packed together tightly. Katarin's Frostfang... I really like the new cavalry for Chaos. It, it makes them look actual... It's almost perfect game already. I wouldn't want them to do and introduce totally new systems mechanic before beyond the new factions. I don't think they will. I don't think they will. I think they're just simply editing and fixing what people asked for. Hey, Nostro, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, prepare your... I was going to say your uh, backsides, because War Master Moloch is here. Hey, Moloch, what's up, dude? I was literally just typing to tell you how. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I'm going to put your sound up, so they should be able to hear you just fine on the stream. Dude, what's, what's your verdict? What's your feeling? Um, positives and negatives. Um, mostly positives, because I don't think this game mode is going to have a huge amount of influence in what I'm referring to as Immortal Empires, because I think it would be a good name for the grand map campaign thing. Yeah. Um, where I think this will appear and sort of intrude on that is this is what I think will... Uh, I think this is how the item, the legendary item battles will work. Yep. It'll be similar to this. Yep. 
And I think this may well be the equivalent of the Vortex final battles type thing. Or, you know, the the, the chaos invasions in the Vortex. I think we'll have stuff like this. Yep, I, I completely agree. I, it, when I yeah. saw it, that's what I thought as well. And if anything, it could be that elements from this will be used in sieges, which would be really cool. But... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't like it. I don't like this particular mode. Um, but that's fine. It'll be less in. It, it doesn't look like something that's going to be enforced. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. I think that when you go into the grand campaign, Mortal Empires, huge deal thing, this will have minimal the impact. Grand campaign. So yeah, that that's fine. I think graphics wise, I think it's getting a lot of undeserved shit because it doesn't look great in still images. But I think when you see it in motion, it looks really good. Yeah. I think what they did, and I really understand why they would take it, this design decision, was they simplified certain graphics. And it makes sense. Most most people on the planet right now who are trying to build a computer cannot because there are no graphic cards anywhere. Okay? There will probably be graphic updates like there was in Warhammer 2. Down the line, units will get better high-quality detail and fidelity. But they've simplified the graphics, but capped such a beautiful aesthetic. And that's it. it I mean, the one thing I don't like is the ice. Uh, the ice that the ice queen walks on, but her spells are amazing. The bear looks fucking awesome. Like, come on, it's a blob of elemental ice. Yeah, I mean, the, um, the ice carpet thing straight away, it's not just that it doesn't look great, it's that it's a bad idea. And I would personally junk that entirely. Um, but in terms of the way it looks, I think that, as I say, I think it looks bad in still images. I think it looks great when you see it in motion. When I first saw the leaks, I immediately, and Benji said it earlier on, I immediately said Raid Shadow Legends. I said it looked like a mobile game. But when you see it in motion, it looks fantastic. And it does make sense that they've gone for that because it's about optimization. Warhammer 2 is a very well-optimized game for low-end computers, you can still play it. Yeah. Like the first time I played it, I played it on ultra unit scale on a Core i3. Yeah, I, so it, they clearly make it so that it works well on every computer, except for like obviously complete potatoes. And I think that's a positive. And when you see it in motion, like when I saw the the ice elemental bear, uh, the animations for it when they just showed them separately, yeah. that looked fantastic. Yes, yes. Like Wait, I'll try to bring it up. I, it just it, it looks like a living creature. Uh, yeah. Nick said it looks like a cat. Like, look look look, look at this, right? It, it, Keep it down. Look at the uh, the uh, blood bloodthirster swiping it with the whip, and the bear reacts accordingly. That, like these are small things that people don't realize how much work that would take. Because I, I have a friend who actually works in the like design animation, and he he would probably tell me, yeah, that took like probably an entire week of someone just designing that part to make sure the units collide properly, etc. Because it's it's difficult, and it looks really good. It looks really good, but it seems now people are dropping because yeah, people are leaving the stream because um, Nathan and the others are releasing their videos. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna tell you to do one thing. I'm going to be stopping the, the live stream, but go and drop a like on Nathan's uh, video. He, you, you know, the great book of grudges, everyone knows him. He's an incredible guy. Uh, go watch his stuff. I will bring more content up myself. Um, I'm going to chill a little bit I've more just, on this. Uh, with I just have to yeah. bounce in with Sykes. Sorry, uh, Benji, it's, pr it's alpha footage. Like, if the, there's going to be pixelation, there's going to be soft textures and things like that. This is so early. They are months away from dropping this. This is nothing that I'm seeing here as a deal breaker. I hate the ice carpet, and it's still not a deal breaker. I don't see the yeah. issues that people are complaining about. I think that things could be improved, but we got months for that. Mm -hmm. And I would play that right now. I just wouldn't play survival mode. I'd I want to play the Immortal <laughs> Empires version. So I think Nicholas said it best. This is so early, Slanesh is still a virgin. <laughs> that and with that we'll close the live stream sorry I stopped you halfway through your rant Malk, I didn't notice the time but I know people want to go and watch um, the big boys content and the analysis from people who actually have access to the game
With that said, you are the big boy, Link. So I, 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 I am big boy in many ways, but not in uh, partners. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching, thanks Moloch and uh, Dylan for coming on the chat. I will see you guys maybe later, maybe tomorrow, I don't know when. Ta-ta!